In this video, I want to show you how we can have Pro Tools send program change information to our 11 rack so it can change our rigs during a song, during our performance. Okay, so first, let me just show you exactly what I mean by this. Now, I don't have anything planned to play, but my guitar strapped on here. Just keep your eye on the 11 rack editor here and keep in mind these same changes are taking place on the 11 rack itself. I'll go ahead and hit play. Watch how our interface changes, how our rig changes. <laughs> Okay, so pretty cool, right? How that changes automatically for us. You know, I wasn't changing anything manually, wasn't using any foot pedals, nothing like that. So let's go ahead and step through. I'll show you exactly how to set this up. So first you will need a MIDI track. And of course, to create your tracks, you can do Control Shift N on Windows. And of course, you can always come up to your track and click New, all right? So you'll need a MIDI track. Now I already have these tracks. I just wanna make sure you're uh, completely aware of what you'll need. Need a MIDI track, you'll need a mono or stereo audio track for your 11 rack so we can actually hear what's going on. And I always like to have a stereo master. So that's what you'll create. Now we are, we've already created that. Plus we have this BFD3 track just for drums, just for fun. Why not, right? Okay, so after that, you'll need to set up your MIDI track in order to make program changes. Now, in order to do that, we already have it set up here, but you'll click this drop down. It's probably gonna be on blocks or clips or notes whenever you first create your MIDI track. So just click the down arrow here, this, this menu, and come down to program change. Okay, now we've done that. Now we need to make sure the MIDI uh, that we're sending it to is for the 11 rack. So you can just, again, click our little drop down there for the output and go to 11 rack, and you want channel one. It's gotta be channel one, okay? Now we can click this little box right here, you see with like the two windows, and that's gonna bring up our patch list change. Okay, now to really see this, I'll need to bring over the 11 rag editor so you can see this. So we can click this, and this will bring up our uh, patch list. Now it's it's all CC numbers, MIDI CC change numbers. If we go to none, it's not gonna do anything. Go to zero, you can see that it takes us to A1. It's very important to realize that A1 on the 11 rag is zero, okay? And there's 104 user spaces on the 11 rag. So if we go to 103, that takes us to Z4 of our user bank. After that, 104 takes us to A1 of our factory banks. Okay, so it's just, it's just structured just like that. If I do number one, that's A2. If I do number two, that's A3. If I do three, that's A4. Again, of our user banks, go to 43. That would be K4. Go to 65, that's Q2, all right? If I go to 116, that's D1 of our factory banks. Okay, very important to remember that. Okay, now in your song, if you're going to have a bunch of changes, say from dirty to clean or whatever, you'll want to structure all of your presets on your 11 rack in a in a convenient order. So you'd have them structured probably somewhere between one and four, one and eight, something like that, depending on how many changes you're gonna have. But that's how you set it up. And by the way, my guitar here by just see we can change this since we don't have the actual names here we can change this and hear exactly what rig that number corresponds to okay it's important to realize that as well so I'm going to hit cancel here. Now how do we make the 11 rack change whenever we hit play? Well in order to do that we need to add a program change. So to add these little program changes that I have right here, use your pencil tool. Okay, again, make sure this is on program change. Make sure we have our 11 rack selected here. Okay, all right. So now we'll just add a program change wherever we want. So say I want a program change on bar two. So I'll just click right there. That brings up our patch change list here, all of our banks. And again, I can go through and find just the patch I want. 
and also I can click this increment every and then put in a value. We'll just leave it at one for now, but you should probably change it to something else. So now it's running here. Let me just make sure it's running. Okay, and then when I play. <laughs> Okay, so say it's that one, I'll untick it, and that will land on L3 in this case, which is 46. Just keep in mind, you'll probably change that to four or five seconds, something like that, so you can really hear exactly what you're doing. And uh, I actually have a whole rundown in a, in a different video showing that uh, increment every, using our little flat list for our 11 rack here. So be sure to check out that video about this mini window here. But anyway, we'll come back here and let's add our change. I think 46. Maybe 97, let's go here. Okay, then we'll just hit done. You can see right there, it says 97. So that's a patch change, a program change. So now when I hit play, you can see how it changes. Let me mute that drum track. So again, when I, as soon as I hit play, it's gonna go to the zero because that's what I have programmed in there, which is the A1 and it goes to Y2. Okay, and I'll also mention, say we put this program change on the wrong bar. So we'll just grab our smart tool or our hand tool, let's grab the smart tool and we can just grab it here and drag it. Maybe I want it on bar three, maybe I wanted it right in between, something like that. If I don't want it at all, just grab it, hit delete and it's gone. Okay, so I think that covers everything that you need to know. Again, MIDI track, program change, make sure this is on 11 rack, it's gotta be channel one. If I were to come here and go to channel two, okay, so I still have my patch changes on there as you can see. I'll just hit play and it's not going to change. You see it's staying right here on Y2. It's going to be a program change here and absolutely nothing happens. So again, make sure that's on channel one. And now when I play, you're going to see it change. Pow. Okay. Channel one, again, make sure this is on program change. You can always click this uh, window right here to pop up this window and go through your patches and just see exactly what they are. And whenever you want to add your change, just make sure you choose your pencil tool and just pop it in wherever you want and then choose the exact rig that you want. And when you're happy, click done. And again, maybe I put it, see, I don't have it right on the bar. So I just grab my hand tool, my smart tool, snap it right to the bar. Pretty cool. Now I can go back and I can, of course, play along with my track. I don't really have anything planned to play here, but uh, just again to show you. can let Pro Tools do all of those patch changes with your 11 rack, have Pro Tools do all of that for you, and you can play hands-free, feet-free, you know, you don't have to use a pedal board or anything like that. Just have Pro Tools send those program changes for you. Really, really easy. Again, MIDI track, make sure this is on 11 rack, channel one. Drop down, program change. Again, you can click this window, go through your patches, see what everything is. You can always use increment patch every set a value there. Whenever you're ready to put a patch change in, pencil tool, click wherever you want to add it, choose your patch, click done. Then it will change to that patch once it gets to that area. So right here, number 42, which again is K3, and then number 123, which is E4 of the uh, factory, and then 105, which is A2 of the factory, and 77, which is key two of the user, and then it changes again down here, okay? And you can really create some really cool and complex tracks like this. All right, guys, be sure to hit that like button, and I am out of here.